Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. On the 4th of December this month, the first case in over a year, monkeypox, was confirmed in a patient there in the UK. Supposedly this person either traveled from, went to Nigeria, or came from Nigeria. Here on Twitter, they're showing the St. Thomas Hospital there where I believe the person was transferred to. A Twitter post from Bristol Live showing the monkeypox virus on a hand. They say it's a rare disease usually reported in Central and West Africa. The patient was transferred to London to a specialist high consequence infectious disease center at Guy's and St. Thomas it says here. Even though this is the first reported case of monkeypox in a year over the last 16 months, there has been four other cases there in the UK. In 2018, the three people that came down with the monkeypox, two had come from Nigeria, and the other person that caught it was one that was caring, caring for those that had this uh, virus. Once again, it is not easy to catch this virus. Symptoms include headache, backache, swollen glands, a high temperature and of course the rash. You can catch the virus by touching things that the infected person um, did touch. Bedding, towels, doorknobs, or if the person with the monkeypox sneezes on you they say. It usually takes several weeks to recover and about 10% of the population that comes down with monkeypox does die from it. This Twitter post says the patient was from southwest of England. And then I guess they were transferred to London for highly specialized care. They're also telling the general public that those that were on the plane with the person who came from Nigeria uh, with monkeypox, unless they were within close proximity of the patient, they probably don't have anything to worry about. Hopefully they weren't coughing or sneezing because the airlines recirculate all that air. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.